Welcome to episode four of No Bull Tech Talk. I'm Tim Clark. Today, we're talking mics. So I begin working on a episode of No Bull, and I'm thinking what I need for better audio is a mic, a lapel mic, like a lavalier. But because I use from time to time a gimbal, I have trouble plugging into the lightning port on my iPhone 10. So I go to Amazon and I purchase a mic, which is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless lavalier mic. And unfortunately, the quality had was not the best. And so here's a sample of what it sounded like. Hey there, and welcome to Hackintoshing for Dummies. So I returned that one, and I did some research, and using Filmic Pro on the iPhone 10, I hear some people are getting good results with ear pods. Those Bluetooth wireless ear pods that I've wanted anyway can be used for getting audio into your iPhone 10. So I decided that I would go out and get a set and give them a try. Now, they are not returnable, so if you buy them, you're stuck with them. But I knew that I had wanted them for the replacement to the Bluetooth headphones that I had. Uh, I like to listen when I'm laying down sometimes, and I find the wires can sometimes get in the way. So I've started filming, and so far my response has been positive to the AirPods. They connect immediately to the Bluetooth, and they seem to work so much better with delays and things like that. And I'm not hearing the sound back in my headphones. So here it is in my ear, and it's doing the recording of this audio. And so you be the judge. Basically, I think it's pretty good. Now, I will try and tweak it a little bit in Final Cut Pro uh, with audio uh, plugins, but all, all in all, it's pretty straightforward, and I think it's a good value for $219 Canadian. Now, not everybody will want to have AirPods in their ear when they're doing this, but I find it's working fine. So, that being said, I also want to give a shout-out to the YouTuber that helped me out with my video encoding, the hardware setup. Uh, when I was starting on my Hackintosh, I did run into a problem of using the internal graphics, which are part of the 7th generation KB Lake processors. I have an i7-7700, and uh, with his help and his plist, I managed to get it running, so I have the hardware encoding working, and it has cut down my render times to about one third of the time that I used to get with just my RX 560 4 gigabyte video card. So thanks to George, and uh, I've included a, a little sample on the screen there to show you what his YouTube site looks like. He's very helpful when it comes to working out problems on Hackintosh. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up. That helps us. Also, if you're clicking the thumbs up, you might as well click on that red subscribe button down below. And if you want to know when we upload a new video, click on that icon of the bell and you'll get notified when we upload a new video. Mm -hmm.